Hi friends, today I am going to explain to you about store procedures, functions and views. Okay, as the name says, store procedure means we are storing a procedure. For example, if you want to update one table, insert something to another table and then do a select query. And if you want to do it regularly, okay, then you can save this query in one place. That's called a store procedure. So you are storing the step-by-step -step procedure that you are doing with the SQL code. Okay, so that's store procedure. Now, what is function? Function means, as the name says, it is like doing some function, uh, doing some calculation. For example, if you want to derive some fields, for example, age from date of birth, you are doing a calculation, isn't it? So you are trying to find age based on date of birth and uh, the current date or uh, up to whatever date you want. Okay, so that's a calculation. So you can save that calculation in one place. That's called a function. And you can just uh, code the write the function in your select statement and get the desired result. Okay, so that's function. Next is view. As also, as the name says, we are viewing something, viewing data. Okay, to view data, what we do, we write select query. We can't do write any other query to find data, isn't it? Uh, to view data. So if view is a select query which is saved in some place. So you might be thinking why we want to save a select query, we can just write it. Uh, if it is a complex select query, like uh, you have lots of joins in there and um, you have lots of calculations in there and if it is a big query, then if you save it as a view, all you have to do is select star from that view to get the result rather than writing all the joins and uh, everything in the script, okay? And also you can join this view to other tables. So if, you are, if there is no view, then you are uh, basically joining that complex query, uh, writing all the script and joining with the other other table so it becomes more complicated so it means view means you are saving the select statement complex select statement in one place that's the view okay so I hope you understood the store procedure functions and view now I will go to SSMS and show you some example okay so this is my SSMS here so I have some tables like um, product and sales I will show you what is inside this table so product table means I have some, I, I have a shop and I have some uh, products like chair table and sofa. I have total 100 chairs, nothing sold. It's a new shop, okay. Nothing is sold. I have 100 left. 500 tables are in total and 500 is available, nothing sold yet. So, so far 200 and so 200 is available. So whenever some customer comes and buys something from my shop, I want to first update my sales details table. So that is this table here, which has the columns like product ID and quantity sold. Nothing is sold yet, so the table is blank. So whenever somebody comes and buys, for example, if somebody buys a chair, I ha I will I have to insert here the product ID of chair. So product ID of chair I can find from here, which is one, and the uh, quantity sold. So if the uh, somebody is coming and buying forty chairs, then it will be one. 40 okay and here what i have to update here the quantity available so because 40 items are sold from chair i want to update this table with the available quantity available as 100 minus 40 that is 60 so i only have 60 chairs left now okay so this is the procedure or the steps i want to follow when somebody comes and buy something from my shop so let's create a store procedure quickly so you can see in the database study i have uh, programmability uh, under programmability if you click here you can see store procedures uh, all you have to do is right click you can type new store procedure and it gives the script for us to write on the skeleton to write on i always try to write my name and date and what the uh, store procedure uh, does in here so it's it's a useful thing if somebody else is coming to see your uh, see, open the script and see you will have a description what this script is using so uh, script is doing so description what is the description so update it's so first i am going to insert the uh, sold product Mm, and uh, update sales details okay so that's what i'm going to do so create procedure let's give a name for my procedure what is the procedure name so let's give sales sales update okay and uh, 
parameters so we so the store procedure receives two parameters okay so what are the parameters that we should pass here so we know a customer is coming and buying something uh, so we need the product name that the customer is buy and what the other thing we need to know the quantity like what how many product were sold so if the chair is sold that's the product name and 40 chairs are sold that's the quantity so we need to pass two parameters one is product name and the other is quantity so let's write product name and it is var care because uh, this character isn't it so chair is uh, character so i'm just giving the data type as var care and the quantity is uh, so always the parameters you put at in the beginning okay quantity is an integer like 40 or something like that okay so we put a comma so these two parameters we are passing as begin uh, and then here you can see insert statement so here uh, they have written a select statement but we have to write the procedure that we want to do okay so what is the procedure we want to do first we want to up, insert into the pro the uh, sales table that the chair is sold and 40 item is sold then we want to update the sales details table with the available quantity uh, reduce the available quantity with the whatever uh, quantity is sold okay so let's insert first so so insert for inserting we want to insert to say a sales details table so let's see the sales details table so it needs product id so chair the pro what we are passing is a product name not product id so how will we find product id product id is in product table uh, the product name is here and we can find the product id from here so we can write insert so insert into which table we are inserting to inserting to sales details table and select the value we are passing is we want product id product id we will get from product table so we will write product id so from where we are getting it from sales product table where where product name equals the parameter we are passing that's product isn't it uh, product name here mm. so if it is chair we are saying product name chair and the product id of chair and then how many we are inserting to sales details table the quantity that we are selling okay that's what we need here isn't it sale so product id and quantity so quantity so we are passing that parameter that's here so that's the so we we are selecting product id and the quantity passed uh, based on product name and inserting to sales details table so if it is chair then in sales detail table it will be chair and the 40 if you are selling 40 chairs 40 is the quantity so as we inserted it now we want to update the product details ta product table isn't that with the available quantity so update which table product table update product table set uh, what away what is the field that we want to update quantity available okay so quantity quantity away quantity available equals so equal to quantity available will be the current quantity available minus the quantity we sold we sold the quantity we sold is passed as a parameter so we have the table so set quantity available minus quantity for what item we are uh, uh, doing this update where we are doing this update for the uh, product named chair isn't it so we'll do product where product name equals product uh, we are passing the product name yeah product name okay so we are updating it now what do you want to do so we are inserted in the sales table we have updated the product table now we want to see we will see we will do a select star from product table to see whether uh, how many quantity are left for chair okay mm. where we are looking at the record of chair okay where product name equals chair okay so that's the store procedure let's create it execute it okay and uh, yeah so now the pro the store procedure is created now let's uh, do the sales up so execute the procedure okay let's do a new query uh, so how to execute this uh, procedure is e we write exec uh, paste the procedure name and then we pass the parameter what are the parameter product name so we are selling chair and the quantity we are selling is 40 okay 
So let's execute this and see. Mm. Ta da! So see, product name chair, quantity, total quantity was 100, 40 sold, so rest available is 60. So let's see what, what we did here. So we first try to insert to the sales details table. So let's check the sales details table whether uh, we inserted. Uh, what we inserted is there yeah see the quantity the product ID is one that is chair quantity sold 40. now let's uh, check the updated table that is the um, product table that's what we are checking here sales product uh, where product name equal to that's what we got the result as the um, of the store procedure see so if you are uh, changing something instead of chair you want to sell so if I, I if my memory is correct there were 200 sofas available um, in total so let's uh, sell some 100 sofas and let's see how many is left okay yeah so 200 total 100 sold 100 left okay the, so that's what this what this two procedure does now what we'll do let's create a view okay so creating view is also very easy view is just a select statement isn't it so let's create a view now so all we have to do is create view and give a view a name for the view so let's give a product details okay as and we have to write the select query so let's write select uh, star from product table okay and then maybe let's do a left join to sales table sales details table s yes, on s dot product i think both table has product ids and that product id equals um, p p dot product id and uh, let's uh, keep here p dot we finding everything from taking everything from p and the s dot maybe star or like because we are taking everything from both tables uh, let's do uh, indi individually we don't need all the uh, t uh, columns isn't it let's uh, give only the columns that we need product name quantity total uh, sorry sorry what happened product name quantity total and the quantity available okay and from the sales table let's take the quantity sold okay this is all we need so we just created a basic small uh, view with a small join here okay so let's create the view okay i created the view now let's execute this view and see so select star from view see i got all the um, all the values with the join i don't have to write the select statement with the left join or anything all i have to do is select from the view okay that's view so now let's go to the function okay uh, in order to create function i told you function is a calculation an example will be finding age uh, based on the uh, date of birth so i have a table called a customer table which has date of birth in it so let's find the age so normally when we find the age we have to write the uh, a calculation isn't it for example it would be uh, difference of years so it would be date diff year uh, comma date of birth and uh, today to date will be uh, maybe for example get date so uh, maybe we can give a date like for example today's date is 2023 11 uh, 02 or you can uh, give get date as well there but i'm just giving a date okay yeah but uh, you all also know that it's just uh, date of birth is not age is not basically the only the difference between uh, the years isn't it um, so we have to consider the month and uh, the uh, date as well so it's a like a comp it is like a more of a calculation than date diff okay so uh, we don't have to like always like write all the calculation and do it instead of this i am going to uh, write a uh, a function and uh, so uh, then we can just call the function okay so i'm creating a new scalar value function so as you know i like to give all the details here so that if somebody else is coming and checking it they will also know what i have done here 
okay uh, find age from dob date of birth okay function name let's give it as find age find age and the parameter what we have to pass is date of birth which is a date and to date uh, that is till what date we have to, it, no, it need not be always to current date isn't it so we can find age when the customer purchased some thing so the date when so date will be till the purchase date so that will be the two date so two date can change so we are finding the date up to whichever date we want from uh, date based on date of birth and the two date so and to date will be also date uh, date data type and the function returns what so here function data type we have to give so this function returns an integer so that is we are returning age age is an integer begin declare so here uh, what we have to provide is what is the data type and the uh, character that we are sorry variable that we are returning so the variable is age okay and what is the data type of age it is integer so we are declaring the return variable here the next one is we are writing the calculation to find age so set at age equals so how we calculate the date diff uh, year uh, at dob to to date okay and we have to do so this will work if the our date of month of our uh, date of birth and the two date two date is great month of month of two date is greater than the day month of date of birth isn't it so we have to write maybe a case statement here uh, so i have already written that in here so we can save some time for the video i'll show you so we have to consider the month and uh, the day as well so see here so age equal to date diff year of date of birth and i'm currently doing get date for this function but the what the logic is we are finding the month of date of birth so let's copy this okay let's copy this and uh, so age data and uh, so we will be red minusing one in the case where the month of to date is less than the uh, date of birth month okay so case when so month of to date is less than the date of birth month so to here i have for the other function i have given get day so instead of that we will give to date hmm? okay or the month is we or if the month is equal to what if the month is equal then we have to consider the date isn't it so we have to consider the day day of the date of birth and day of the hmm, to date okay and what does this return returns result uh, variable and uh, we have to write return the result of the function what are we returning we are returning age right okay ah yeah we have to put because we write a case statement here we have to put end okay case when um, Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, case when this is greater than or yeah, this equal to month and day greater than. You have to write then one. We are subtracting one. Okay. Else we will subtract zero. End. Okay. Now the function is complete. Now we will let's execute this function. Um. Okay. So find age I have already created. So find I will give find age function. Okay. Yeah, so this function is created. So let's use this function in our uh, query instead of writing all the script to find the uh, age. Schema name dbo dot find age function. Uh, in bracket we will give date of birth. That's the first variable we, we are passing. And the to date. To date, let's uh, do do uh, maybe 10, 10. 2023 so we are finding age till this date okay so let's execute it see it will give as age Ta -da. so that's the function so i hope everybody liked the video and uh, you all understood what is store procedure what is uh, function and what is view okay then bye Yeah, so.